Despite Borat's exaggerated and often inaccurate portrayal, Kazakhstan is a diverse and culturally rich country, deserving of a closer, more accurate look. Today we're exploring Kazakhstan, the largest landlocked country in Central Asia. Join us and stay to discover the real Kazakhstan, beyond the misconceptions perpetuated by the satirical portrayal in the movie Borat. The lands of modern-day Kazakhstan have been inhabited since the Stone Age, with some of the earliest human settlements dating back over 20,000 years. Ancient nomadic tribes like the Sika and Wusun dominated the region before the rise of the Xiongnu Empire. The Xiongnu ruled over much of modern Kazakhstan for several centuries. Their control of the Silk Road trading routes enabled cultural and economic exchanges between China, Persia, and the Mediterranean. In the 6th century CE, the Turkic Khaganate rose to prominence in Central Asia. This nomadic empire ruled over the lands of modern Kazakhstan until the 8th century. The Khaganate began the widespread Turkification of the native Iranian peoples living in the region. Following the fragmentation of the Khaganate, parts of Kazakhstan were contested by various Turkic Khanates, as well as the Chinese Tang dynasty. In the early 13th century, the Mongol Empire under Genghis Khan conquered the territories of modern Kazakhstan. Under the Mongols, Kazakhstan was administered by the Golden Horde Khanate. Mongol domination introduced the ravages of war but also promoted economic and cultural exchange along the Silk Road. Islam began to spread widely under Mongol rule. Gradually, the Kazakh Khanate asserted independence from the declining Mongols in the 15th century. The Kazakhs would remain semi-independent, thriving on nomadic pastoralism until the 18th century. At this point, Russian expansion into Central Asia led to the Kazakh Khanate becoming a protectorate of the Russian Empire. Russian colonization encouraged settlement and the development of agriculture, but also provoked Kazakh resistance. In the early 1920s, Kazakhstan was incorporated into the new Soviet Union. Kazakh tribes rebelled against the Soviets, leading to famine and repression. Millions of Kazakhs perished or fled the repression. As part of the Soviet Union, Kazakhstan underwent rapid industrialization and economic development, although political repression and Russification policies also continued. Kazakhstan contributed manpower and raw materials to the Soviet economy, attracting many immigrants from other parts of the USSR. When the Soviet Union dissolved in 1991, Kazakhstan was the last Soviet Republic to declare independence under the leadership of Nursultan Nazarbayev. The new republic faced major economic and social challenges. Since independence in 1991, Kazakhstan has worked to develop its economy based on its extensive oil, gas and mineral resources. Politically, President Nazarbayev dominated the single-party system until his resignation in 2019. His Nur Otan party remains the major political force. Kazakhstan has a diverse population comprising numerous ethnic groups. The majority are Kazakhs, a Turkic people making up about two-thirds of the population. The Kazakhs have mingled with Mongols, Uzbeks, Russians and other groups over the centuries. Other significant ethnic groups include Russians, who migrated during the Tsarist and Soviet periods, making up about one-fifth of the population. There are also Uzbeks, Ukrainians, Uyghurs, Tatars, Germans, and smaller groups like the Koreans. The main religions in Kazakhstan are Islam and Christianity. Most Kazakhs follow Sunni Islam, blended with some pre-Islamic indigenous beliefs. Christians belong mainly to the Russian Orthodox Church or Protestant faiths. Other religious minorities include Jews, Buddhists and Hare Krishnas. Under communism, religion was suppressed, 
but since independence, Kazakhstan has seen a revival of religious adherence and diversity. Kazakh is the official state language, though Russian is still widely used in business and government. Attempts to promote the use of Kazakh have met resistance from Russian speakers. As a result, the government now pursues a balanced bilingual policy to accommodate both languages. Many Kazakhs also speak English as a third language. The territory of Kazakhstan stretches across an expansive steppe and grasslands region, covering an area larger than Western Europe. It shares borders with Russia, China, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan and Turkmenistan, as well as the Caspian Sea. The majority of Kazakhstan consists of flatlands, with mountains only found in the southeast, near the border with Kyrgyzstan and China. Around 70% of the country is made up of flat steppe plains. Kazakhstan can be divided into five main geographical zones, each with distinct features. The West Siberian Plain covers about half of the country in the north. This plain contains the wetlands and lakes of the Nura Sarisu Basin. The Turan Lowland is located in central Kazakhstan, containing deserts and salt flats such as the Aralkum region. Rising above the Turan Plain are the central Kazakh uplands, which include hills and mountains around the former capital Almaty. In the southeast lie the Tarbagatai and Altai Mountains on the border with China, representing Kazakhstan's most mountainous terrain. Finally, the Mangishlak Peninsula in the southwest juts out into the Caspian Sea and is semi-desert in climate. Kazakhstan has the largest economy in Central Asia, benefiting from substantial reserves of oil, natural gas and minerals. Since gaining independence in 1991, they have transitioned away from a Soviet-style planned economy towards a market economy. While this has spurred growth, Kazakhstan faces challenges in modernizing its economy and reducing dependence on its energy exports. Oil and gas extraction comprises the largest economic sector, accounting for over half of government revenues and three quarters of export earnings. Massive oil and gas reserves are located primarily in the western regions near the Caspian Sea, Chevron, ExxonMobil and other multinational giants invest heavily in Kazakh oil and gas. Mining is another major component of Kazakhstan's economy, contributing around 20% of the $197 billion GDP. The country possesses rich deposits of minerals like manganese, iron, copper, chrome, zinc and uranium, Despite employing 20% of the workforce, agriculture comprises less than 5% of its GDP. Wheat, livestock and dairy are main agricultural products. But Kazakhstan has struggled to modernize its agricultural techniques and equipment. On the other hand, manufacturing has shown more progress, now accounting for 10% of employment. Kazakh cuisine reflects the country's nomadic roots and varied influences, ranging from the Mongols to the Soviets. Traditional Kazakh dishes make ample use of meat and dairy products from pastoral living. Beshbamak. One of the most beloved Kazakh dishes is Beshbamak, meaning five fingers in Kazakh. This meal consists of boiled meat, often horse or lamb, served over unleavened dough sheets and noodles. Sopa is a staple Kazakh soup, often made in the winter months. Also called shorpa, this warm broth features chunks of meat, potatoes, carrots and onions. Traditional sopa may contain horse sausage and boiled sheep's head, though modern renditions use more common meats. Kurdak Kurdak is a dish of steamed or roasted horse meat, often served with sopa. Slices of horse meat are cooked in a pot along with potatoes, carrots and onions. Kwirdak is seasoned with salt, pepper and cumin. Kazi is a popular Kazakh sausage 
made from horse or, more rarely, camel meat. Chunks of minced meat are stuffed into horse intestines, along with salt, garlic and spices. The sausage is then left to dry and cure. Sports are an important part of Kazakh culture and national identity. Kazakhstan has traditionally been strong in sports like wrestling, horseback riding and archery stemming from its nomadic roots. These days, Kazakhstan competes internationally across many sports. Football is the most popular spectator sport in Kazakhstan. The Kazakh national football team represents the country in competitions like the World Cup and Asian Cup. They have a professional football league with teams like Astana and Kairat attracting large crowds. Combat sports like boxing and martial arts are widely practiced in Kazakhstan, which takes pride in being the birthplace of Gennady Golovkin, the world champion boxer. Weightlifting is another successful Olympic sport for here, as is cycling. The traditional sports of Kazakhstan have experienced a resurgence since independence. Archery competitions, horseback games like Kokpa, and wrestling events like Kurez draw big crowds and national media coverage. As an oil-rich country, they have invested heavily in sports infrastructure over the past two decades. Nur Sultan and Almaty now boast world-class facilities for athletics, aquatic sports, ice hockey and other major competitions. Kazakhstan hosted the 2011 Asian Winter Games and plans to bid for the Winter Olympics. With improved training and infrastructure, Kazakhstan aims to establish itself as a sporting power in Asia. Both traditional and modern sports enjoy strong government support as sources of national prestige. If you enjoyed this video on Kazakhstan, you'll love this next one.